Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the undefeated Mustache John. How are we doing friends? Thanks for tuning in. Mustache John here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming matches in the English Premier League. I'm going to be going over the betting odds on Bavada.com. Not a sponsor, that's just where I place my bets. Uh, so by the end of the video, hopefully you got some kind of idea about where you want to go with your bets. Uh, let me know down in the comments how you do. I want to know how your weekend ends up. Uh, by no means should you be taking my uh, advice here as gospel. I, I do small bets just for fun. Uh, so don't bet too heavy on anything that I say, all right? Fair warning. We're just going to have some fun going over the, the, um, going over the betting odds for this weekend. All right, first match coming up early Saturday morning, 7.30 Eastern time here in the US. Uh, we got Man United traveling to Brighton. Man United coming off that horrendous loss to Crystal Palace. <laughs> uh, Brighton is actually going pretty strong. 2-0 uh, this year in the English Premier League. Um, this could be a challenge for United, and given that they've only had one match in the Premier League so far, they may still be kind of getting settled in a little bit. Um, I would be tempted with the the minus 140 to go for the, the win for United, but I think this one has draw written, written all over it, um, and I don't like to place bets on draws. So this one I'd be skipping. Next up, we've got Crystal Palace and Everton. Everton is a great team this year with picking up Hamas Rodriguez and Allen and now pairing those with the existing players uh, like Richarlison, like uh, Calvin Lewis, that that's a lot of attack is all I'm saying for Everton. And although Crystal Palace did beat United last year, not last year, uh, last weekend, um, I actually have Crystal Palace being relegated this year. So to continue that trend, uh, and if you look at the odds, plus 105 for Everton, that's not bad at all. I know I know it's away from home, and traditionally, you know, in the English Premier League and really across the board, away teams don't always perform the same way they do at home. But I like those odds. I do like do like those odds. I'm probably gonna put a, a few bucks down on Everton for that one. Next up, West Brom and Chelsea. Obviously, as a supporter of the U.S. men's national team, uh, sad to say that Christian Pulisic is not listed on the roster for this one. He's still battling that hamstring injury, although I think he is training with the with the first team right now, so hopefully next week. Fingers crossed for, uh, for Pulisic coming back. In the meantime, I got Chelsea winning this one, but at minus 275, I'm at, that juice is not worth the squeeze for me, so I'm going to skip that one but I am picking Chelsea as the winner. Then, my friends, we've got Burnley versus Southampton. Uh, Southampton is miserable right now. Absolutely miserable. Cannot buy a win. I think I... No, that's that's the next game. Southampton, still, they're, 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 they're terrible right now. Uh, they need to turn things around, but I think Burnley at home holds things down. At a plus 225 for Burnley. Tell you what, folks, I might gamble on Southampton continuing to slide, put a few bucks on that Burnley, because that is a nice turnaround. I don't think that's much of a gamble there. Burnley at home over Southampton with a plus 225. I like that one. That gets us to uh, Sheffield United hosting Leeds. Leeds is an exciting team this year. If you've seen their first two matches, uh, against Liverpool, and then I forget who they played last week, but I think they, they got a want, uh, win on that one. Lost to Liverpool, of course. Um, they're an exciting team. Plus 165, I don't hate that. Sheffield United has lost their last five matches coming into this one. So I could go either way. I like the odds both ways. It, it depends on how you feel about it, okay? You could go either way. Will Sheffield United end this skid, turn things around against the newly promoted Leeds? And if you feel that way, then one set plus 170, that's not a bad turnaround. If you're thinking Leeds, uh, exciting team, they're they're coming off of a win. Sheffield's been slipping. They're going to continue that trend. Plus 165, not bad. That's quite the toss-up. This one's tough. I'm arguing back and forth in my head. I could go either way on this one. For that reason, I might leave it alone. I might leave this one alone just because... It's it is such a toss up, man. That's so tempting, and and the 
The odds makers know it. The odds makers know it. I'm going to say skip this one. It's too tight. It's too early early in the season. If you want to put a couple bucks down, sure, go ahead. Don't bet the house on, on Sheffield versus Leeds. That really could go either way because Sheffield was surprisingly good last year. Leeds is surprisingly good this year. I can't imagine Sheffield is going to keep losing. They're going to get a win eventually. They're at home. Could even just squeak out a draw just to right the ship. It's a dangerous one to bet on, folks. Maybe skip it. Tottenham hosting Newcastle. That's going to be an easy win for Tottenham. Minus 220. I don't like those odds. Uh, Tottenham coming off of a five-goal performance. Uh, Human Sung being just fed goal after goal from Harry Kane last weekend. Beautiful, beautiful performance from Tottenham. Um, but minus 220. I don't like those odds. Skip that one. Moving on. Then we've got Man City hosting Leicester. Again, that's going to be all Man City. Too much power, too much pace, too much precision coming out of the blue side of Manchester there. So minus 360, not worth the squeeze. So skip that one. That's going to be a Man City win. This one could be interesting, folks. West Ham hosting Wolves. West Ham's not playing so great. Wolves not playing so great. However, Wolves are a better team. Wolves should be able to turn things around. They could, you could argue they were overperforming last year, but this year the expectations are there. I think they get themselves into Europe by the be uh, by the end of the season. But will they turn it around in this match? I don't hate those even odds. I don't hate it. I, I might put a few bucks on Wolves for this one because I don't. <sighs> even though West Ham's home and those odds are great, I I gotta think that Wolves are gonna turn this around. I'd maybe take those even odds and, and put a few bucks down for that one. Up next, we've got Fulham hosting Aston Villa. Uh, Aston Villa are actually on a pretty good run of form here, but Fulham at home with an opportunity to right the ship because they haven't been playing very well. They're not getting points in their last couple of matches. Uh, but Fulham, if they can right the ship against Aston Villa, this is, this is an early must win, I would say, for Fulham. At a plus 190 with the stakes a little bit higher now for Fulham because they, they got to turn this around, right? They're, they're a high risk for relegation. And playing against a team like Aston Villa, you mark that on the calendar as a team that you need to get points from. So at home, need to get points against a team like Aston Villa, need to turn things around. Plus 190 on the odds, I don't hate that at all. Probably going to put a few bucks on Fulham. Last match of the weekend. This is going to be a fun one to watch. Liverpool hosting Arsenal. Now, here's the thing, folks. I said in my EPL predictions that Liverpool was going to plateau, that they weren't going to be champions this year. I actually have them coming in at fourth. However, uh, Arsenal is Arsenal. So, <laughs> I would love to put a few bucks on that plus 500. Uh, Arsenal is in a good run of form. I, I like how Willian has been fitting into their squad. He's an experienced English Premier League player. Um, really picked up right where he left off with Chelsea. But I think Liverpool at home, Arsenal being Arsenal, I think Liverpool is going to win this one, and I don't like that minus 220, so I'm going to leave that one alone. All right, so that's that's all the matches for the weekend. If I was, if I was going to give you like a top two that I think are, are good odds that you can get a, a, a good return from, that is a pretty safe bet, I think you go Fulham over Aston Villa, get that plus 190. And I gotta say, I, I think you go Everton over Crystal Palace. No, I take that back. My second one, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Where are we at here? Burnley over Southampton, guys. Those are my top two picks for this weekend. Take Burnley over Southampton with that plus 225. Nice little turnaround. Low risk. I think the odds makers get that one wrong. I'm going Burnley over Southampton for the plus 225, and then I'm taking Fulham over Aston Villa for the plus 190. Those, those two are definitely targeted this weekend. I think that's where I'm going to put my dollars uh, coming up here, so we'll see. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I'm going to be placing bets every weekend, so I might as well just share my insights <laughs> and my thoughts with you all. Um, let me know how you do for the weekend. As always, thank you mu so much for tuning in and taking a ride. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you next time.